Hello, welcome to part 11 of the Skyrim Special Edition Ultimate Graphics tutorial, the NPCs and Personal Appearance. Part 11 already, we only have a couple of parts left, so yeah, um, we're, going, we're going good. This is quite a long guide, I know that, but hopefully you're still with me. And hopefully you will also finish the tutorial to have a wonderful looking Skyrim. What about part 11? Part 11, um, yeah, like I said here, it overhauls the NPCs and also your personal appearance, but... It is very subjective, like it says here, um, and it really changes the way NPCs and yourself will look. So in that case, if you have any doubts about hair, about uh, uh, female overhauls, about skin overhauls, uh, NPC overhauls, etc, 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 don't install it. But if you don't, please be careful that you're not going to install a mod later, which require one of the mods as a master file, because else the game might crash. So be very careful with that. Um, if you really don't want any overall in NPCs for what's any reason whatsoever, skip this part. That's all right. But I would definitely recommend it because in my opinion, the NPCs look a lot better. You uh, as a main character look can look a lot better, but... Um, and also, I think these mods are not super, are, yeah, they are lore friendly. I think they're at the edge maybe sometimes, but they're still lore friendly. They're, these are no anime mods or uh, any other weird stuff. Um, so for that case, I would say, yeah, just install them because they really look great. So starting with Apache Skyhair, one of the most popular mods from Old Rim as well. Let's open it up. And let's see, yeah, uh, go to files, then download this full version first, then download the, let's see, the uh, female hairstyles, so these are additional ones, and also download additional male hairstyles, which are these ones. Let's see, and that's it, yeah, that's it, and okay, we're gonna check, let's add them first in Mod Organizer so we can get it out of the way and see if there are any patch files we missed. No, so these three files, you have the main file first, uh, a lot of files here, these are all not needed, these are just screenshots, so this is your data directory, and then click OK. And this is, yeah, pretty strange because this is an ESM file, and for that, you will not find it here in the ESPs, you will find it here, but don't worry, you don't need to do anything with those ESM files. So activate the Apache Sky here, and then make sure to... Um, Oh no, it doesn't do it. It actually just puts it here. That's great. So you know that this order is still correct. Um, okay, then the updates for female and male. So make sure to avoid these screenshots. Just set this as your data directory. And then yeah. um, let's wait for this update file. Right, then activate uh, the female update. And then let's not forget to add the male version update. Set this as your data directory. Press OK. And the male file is a bit smaller than the female file. So and for that, in this case, it installation goes a little bit faster. Great. Then the other nice, fantastically looking hair mod is Kes Herdas. By the way, check this mod out. Um, this is Apache Skyro Natural Retexture. As I said here, as I said stated here, more natural hair, but very subjective. And what I mean by that is, yeah, it's it's uh, more natural looking, so perhaps more lore friendly, but also, I have to say the um, the, the regular sky hair looks really yeah. How can I how can I uh, how can I describe this? Um, it looks maybe a lot as you can see a lot smoother, fancier for the male versions. That might not be the ideal situation, but for females, in my opinion, and uh, by the way, I don't care about these wigs and all that stuff. But for the females, I find the regular um, Apache Skyer look better because, yeah, it's just it's just way more uh, smoother in my opinion. And this um, this natural retexture makes it perhaps a bit more friendly, as you can see here, but less smooth. So it's up to you if you prefer this style, which I can definitely imagine to have a bit more lore friendly uh, texturing. Make sure to install it right now. In that case, you want to go to Files and you want to download the male. Uh, what is it? Let's see, female retexture, male retexture, and you have the update files here apparently because I didn't install them, but these need to be also installed after the main files. So yeah, if you want that, you can download the natural retexture right now. Else, we're going to continue with KS Herodas, which is also a great looking hair mod file, as you can see here in the screenshots. And they work together, Apache Skyro and KS Herodas, because what they both do is just they just add new hairstyles both. 
please be careful if you create a new character it might take like four or five seconds because uh, uh, before all of the hair hair styles are being loaded so in that case your character creation takes a little bit longer but i think it's definitely worth it because yeah how many times are you going to create characters and from there you can just browse hairstyles and all anyway uh download the main version here so the uh the lar pretty large one 653 megabytes now let's see yeah let's let's do that right now so we have the big hair mods out of the way kids hair does click manual set data directory press ok all right then let's wait for this mod to finish Right then, activate KS Hair Dust, the main mod. And then we can continue with the next mod, which is probably set to hidden. Um, and it's been there set for quite a long time already, unfortunately. So, and the update is, uh, the reason is still updating. So, what I suggest if you want this mod, um, it's not needed, not necessarily needed, but if you want this mod really, then you can go to the Discord of Pret Caliber, which you will find on the, on the main website. If you go to home, you will find the Discord. And then on the tab, um, Skyrim SE hidden files, you're able to download the hidden and missing files because the next one, Botox for Skyrim is also hidden here. Um, yeah, so that's pretty annoying sometimes that this happens. But anyway, let's see which one I do have in my list right now. I have Botox, yeah, okay. So if you uh, have it from my Discord channel, or yeah, for any other source, maybe you had it already. Click manual, set, this is your data directory, and then press OK. And for the other mod, which was Divine People, um, yeah, you can, if you want it, you can get it from my Discord channel. It's probably on a mega upload or a uh, retransfer mirror somewhere. So yeah, that were these two files, which are now set to hidden, so I can't show you what to download. But uh, if you have them, just Add them like the same way you're used to with uh, adding mod organizer, set data directory, etc, etc. Then we have the Ordinary Women SSE and this is a regular um, overhaul for a lot of NPCs in the game. And let's see if we can have like a short description. This is a... Or the, changes the appearance yeah, of 60 women in Skyrim and in this case Skyrim Special Edition. Alright, this has been, yeah, updated to form 44, so you don't necessarily need to uh, do it yourself. So, we can pick this main file, and yeah, I'm going to use CBBE um, as the body mod, so in that case I have this, um, let's see, I will pick this main file, and you also want to have the... Uh, let's see the unofficial Skyrim special edition patch, and I'm not really sure if I did download this patch already, but we're, let's find it out by installing first yeah I have I think yes okay so download the CBBE version and then also the patch for uh, unofficial Skyrim special edition patch which is a mouthful really so like this as your data directory and then press ok it's not a super super large mod which is good and once this finishes also of course uh, install the patch file for unofficial Skyrim special edition so this is your data directory and I press OK and that should be fine. All right, great. Now we have uh, Pandora Balls NPCs. I think this is also a um, overhaul, I think. And also this comes with an uh, unofficial Skyrim special edition patch. So download the main file and then the optional file. Let's see what it does exactly because I always blindly installed it. An NPC overhaul, yeah, so this also gives some, um, also overall some of the female NPCs, which looks nice. But again, I can imagine if you're like, okay, this is any edge of lore friendly or not lore friendly. In that case, just simply don't install it. It's your game, it's your Skyrim special edition. If you don't like it, simply don't install it. Also, what you can do is install it, check it out if you, if you like it or not. If you don't like it, it's just a simple click to activate or deactivate the mod and it will be completely removed or added to your mod organizer and your Skyrim. So that's really cool about mod organizer. So then let's see, let's add the uh, Pandora Balls NPC and its patch. So download and uh, sorry, act, install the main file first. It has been packed correctly, which is great. And let's wait until this finishes. Okay, then activate the main file first and then make sure to add the patch file for an uh, unofficial Skyrim special edition. And then press OK. This also comes with an ESP. And that was it for this mod, Pandorables NPCs. 
Alright, now we're going for the big one, the Bajin All-in-One Special Edition. This is definitely one, uh, all the Bajin mods are definitely my favorite since Aldrim, and they have luckily been ported to Skyrim Special Edition. What's up with this very, very freaking long story? Um, normally, if you are installing ESP files here, um, you can have a maximum of 255. If you have over 255, you need to merge some or maybe deactivate some mods. And what the author of Bajin uh, mods have done, he, um, because the Bajin mods, the Bajin all in one, let's open it up. It covers all of the Bajin mods, which are these ones. These are the War Maidens, NPC Wives, Seranaholic, um, and uh, yeah, and then there are like at least four NPCs, uh, four uh, ESPs, but maybe maybe even more. So what the author did is he created an all-in-one version so you can first install the main files, then uh, uncheck some of the ESPs and then activate the all-in-one ESP if you want to download it. The problem with this is if you want to uncheck or install a different version of some of the ESPs or you want to perhaps use a completely different one for Serana, the only one ESP is probably going to give you problems, if not crash to desktop. So what we're going to do now is we're going to simply install all of the PG mods without the all-in-one ESP because we are never going to reach the 255 ESPs. We have 48 now, maybe we have 100 at the most, really at the most. So in that case, just we're going to, to manually install all of the Bajin's mods. That's perfectly fine and we don't need to save on ESPs. And it's yeah a lot safer because you can mess around with other mods uh, which might affect the Bajin stuff if you deactivate one of these mods. You can do that without any problems. So open up all the Bajin mods. So that's War Maidens, that's NPCs, that's Wives, that's Rana Holic. And within Serana Holic, that comes also a version for Valerica, which is her mother, if I'm not mistaken. So the War Maidens version comes with a lot of uh, stuff here. Um, download the Let's See. Comes with an update. Why is that? Okay, never, never. Um, I'm only going for the main file here, which is between War Maidens. So let's check if I have also only the main version here. Yeah, okay. So between War Maidens. Let's see, We it comes with an options form. And meanwhile, let's wait for it to pop up because else it will minimize my uh, internet, uh, my web browser. Uh, let's continue with downloading these, uh, all these first. So War Maidens, we did download. NPCs, download the uh, this main file as well. The Bajin Wives, download also this main file as well. And then Serana Holic, I think, I think this is still the best Serana overhaul mod. So click files, download the uh, this one, the main file, and also download the high resolution skin texture, which looks really awesome. Um, let's see, high res skin option is available in the optional files. Yeah, skin texture update for all versions is not necessary. So pick the high resolution skin because it looks really good. And you can also download the Valerica mod for Valerica. And uh, yeah, all right, once you did do that, let's add the Bajin mods, so let's go back to mod organizer. All in one, because I think all the models look great. Yeah, you can here choose if you prefer wrinkles or not. I think sometimes they like they look good on uh, the Bajin uh, women. CBB body, because that's the body mod we're going to use later. But it doesn't really matter that much because all these models are standalone, which means they can be installed with UMP bodies, and you can use CBBE if you really want that. But yeah, I would just stick to one body mod to avoid any problems. Then the Bajin NPCs also probably comes with an options form like all the other Bajin mods. They're really, really well done. Also the options form here for this mod. Click next. Um, yeah, ch ch check the options you prefer here. Go for wrinkles, wrinkles. Um, yeah, and CBBE body, then click install. And okay, then we have, let's see, wives, between wives. Also comes with an options form, the other one with CBB, uh, uh, CBBE body. All right, then we do have Serana, Serana Holic. 
it also comes with an options form it's a really well um, made options form for all these mods click next here you have the possibility to choose an eye uh, color which you like and I'm gonna go maybe I think for the blue eye I know she's a vampire uh, but yeah yeah I think it looks really good you have vampire human style makeup let's pick vampire because she's still a vampire after all but it's your taste and then also the high resolution skin for Serana all right, uh, CBB body, click install. All right, and then the last one is for Valerica. So, oh, she also has a high res skin option, I see. So you can download the Valerica mod and then download the high res skin for uh, Fida 18. So first download, uh, install the main mod, Valerica. Let's see, she has one at seven two. And here, oh, okay, sorry, it's this one, Valerica High Res Skin Texture. Then select CBB Body, click Next. You can just pick an eye color as well here. I'm going for the blue eye. Hair color, black, gray, run red. I'm going for black, uh, wrinkles, not wrinkles, doesn't really matter. Then click Install. All right, make sure to activate the mod and then also download, uh, install the high resolution skin for Valerica. All right. CBBE body and I click install okay so that was everything for the begin mods and we don't you know, what you can do now is follow the entire all of the instructions for the all-in-one stuff but I'm gonna leave it like this it's fine we don't need to to uh, convert it to one ESP or something it's fine really it is fine all right so um, next one is to cut a follower and these are just optional followers i think this is an optional follower because i think i did put it here because she is the uh, she's also uh made by the creator of pigeon mods so that's the reason why download the main file here for Tokata follower because i think she really looks good um as an overall as you can see here i really like those pigeon like mods so Tokata. Let's see what kind of options we have. Uh, install to cut a follower, uh, CBBE body, um, body texture size 2K or 4K. I, of course, go for 4K. You can pick uh, 2K. Uh, yeah, with this one, you can also install her as a replacer for uh, one of the uh, URLs, I think, here. So, yeah, if you like that, you can do that. If not, you can just leave it like that. CBBE body. And I'm going to have a 4K. So you can have it, uh, her as a follower in the temple of White Run, if I'm not mistaken, and also as a replacer for the Jarl. So that's up to you. You can install both of them or just one uh, for either a follower or the replacer of the Jarl. That's up to you. Okay, let's see. We haven't downloaded any other mods now. Um, let's open up this Masculine KG Textures, the Masculine Argonian Textures, and Skyside Skins. Yeah, let's do that first because that's uh, a lot of things we need to do. Download a uh, pack here first, a resolution pack. I would uh, advise you to use 2K. For the Argonian textures also just 1K, 2K, I would say go for 2K. And the sky side skins, you can go for the main file. And I think that's everything I have here. Let's see. Yeah, no, I wouldn't pick the Ultra because this is way too many um, VRAM because each NPC uses 135 megabytes, which is insanely large. If you, yeah, if you think that an example, a GTX 970 has only four gigabytes of VRAM and uh, yeah, with the NVIDIA bug only 3.5. So in that case, make sure just to pick the high recommended version. So let's install those mods first because it's been a while to be really honest because I thought it comes with an options form here. Yeah, it is. I correct the numbering here. Click next. Here you can pick the gray cat or the leopard. Yeah, it's just a matter of taste. Um, humanoid apps are furry and go for the furry since it's still a cat's the Khajiit. But that's of course your choice. Okay, then number 19 is gonna be the, yeah, um, the Argonian stuff. So here also, click next, pick what you like, lizard or chameleon. That, I don't really care about that much because a lot of time, uh, my characters at least have armor on. So yeah, it's not really sure who uh, cares about it. But anyway, it are really nice skin retextures. I click 
and activate it. And then we do have the sky side stuff, which is number 20. Yeah, that's this one. All right. Here you can have the real feed meshes, which is, I think, good. It doesn't uh, require any workarounds or anything. They look good. But again, again, um, I don't find myself in a lot of situations where I don't wear any shoes. I mean, maybe for the more shady uh, <laughs> Skyrim players who really need all the naked stuff and who really care about the naked stuff. If you just play the game regularly, you probably won't find much characters without shoes or boots or whatever. So it's up to you. But anyway, the real feet look nice. So let's just install it. This one, uh, yeah, it depends on your choice. I'm going to leave it on default. Um, you can also leave this in default this as well and that was everything for sky sites okay make sure to activate it and then i think we come to the body mod which is cbbe in my case now first we have race menu um yeah and then we have xp 32 maximum skeleton for the race menu uh, let's see, yeah, it completely overalls the character creation menu. So you have a lot of more choices if you are into it. But I have to say, I don't really use it that much, if I'm completely honest with you guys. What, what, uh, yeah, what you also can do is, once you created a character, if you go to the console and you type in race menu, you can completely recreate your character if you want, uh, like you would start a new character. But this mod gives you more options. But yeah, it's really if you really want to go deep into character creation, but it's not really needed. All right, then the XP32 skeleton, that's really a nice mod because it will extend the um, capabilities of your character skeleton and all. And for that, I would definitely suggest to install it. So download this main version. And let's add those two mods first because yeah, I think they both come with options forms as well. Let's see, okay, I missed apparently or I accidentally uh, mess something up here with my numbering. But what we want first is the race menu, if you prefer it. Yeah, that's really weird. I messed it up here somewhere with the numbering. Can happen sometimes, doesn't really matter as long as you install it in the correct order. So um, yeah, and then we have the XP32 skeletons. And ignore my numbering, I, I completely messed it up. So yeah, let's see, just physics extensions. Don't install MCM because it requires a lot of extra options and also enhanced character edit. I'm don't installing it. I know it's a great mod, but only go for race menu here. Uh, do I want race menu? Includes the MCM menu. Mm, let's see, let's see, let's see. Character creation. Nothing related. No, you know what? I'm gonna pick for nothing to character creation because um, yeah, in my opinion, it's not needed and it might cause some incompatibility with race menu. So in that case, because let's see what you need here. SKSE, Sky UI, we have that. We have race menu. We have force new idols because that's finesse. That's a program in uh, here in Mod Organizer, which you can use, but I'm not using it because for me, it's not worth all the trouble. And I'm gonna stick to none. So if you don't want any problems, <laughs> click none. If not, you might want to dig into the installation procedure of one of these uh, three other options. Then click next. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it all like this. Um, because, yeah, to be really honest, when I play the game, I don't do much different. I don't necessarily need to have the looks a bit different. For me, the vanilla stuff is fine. So uh, when you, when it comes to carrying weapons on the back. For me, it's fine like this. So in that case, I'm gonna avoid all the uh, compatibility stuff it might have. So in that case, I'm gonna leave this all none or default. Also none here. Um, also none here. And also none here. All right, great. That was the XP 32 maximum skeleton. All right, and then we have CBBE here. Let's see, yeah. Here you can either go for CBBE or UMP, but for now on, I've adjusted my setup to CBBE. So in that case, we're also gonna pick CBBE, go to files, go to the CBBE main file. And yeah, that's it, I think so far. So CBBE, let's see, where is it? CBBE. Here it is, that's this one. Yeah, my number is completely messed up. So I'm just gonna follow my own installation order which because I know that's correct 
Uh, yeah, either go for Slim Curvy. Uh, to be really honest, I don't really care, but I prefer, you know, don't, yeah, that might, <laughs> that might sound a little bit weird, but I prefer underwear. Mm, and because, you know, um, if I create screenshots and videos, maybe if I, by accident, an example, uh, unsheet my armor, perhaps YouTube might address the video as nude, and for that I might get into trouble, so that's why I pick underwear here. Um, outfit options, let's see, do we need anything here? Just pick the options you like, I mean, that's fine, pick what you like. Then click next, mesh normal, revealing, yeah, I'm gonna leave for normal. I don't really care about that skimpy, um, nudie stuff and all, it's fine for me. I just like the game and I don't need anything other stuff. Let's see, do we need this race menu morphs? Ads in game morphs for your race menu. I don't care about this. Needs bodies and outfits to be built. No, I'm gonna leave it default. That's fine for me. So let's wait until CBBE finished installing. All right, then activate CBBE. And then let's see, after CBBE, we do have um, the Fermin Feminine Kaji textures and the Feminine Argonian textures and also fair skin complexion. First go Feminine Kaji textures. It's pretty much in the same line as the uh, the first male Argonian and Khajiit textures. Go for CBBE because that's the body map we just installed. Then go for here also CBBE, yeah, uh, for the Argonian textures. And here fair skin. Uh, what I say here is uh, let's see, it's true. Don't get distracted by the non-lore friendly screenshot. It's a great skin mod. Um, oh yeah, also don't select the extra eyebrow option. Um, because it gives an ESP for old RIM, so for old Skyrim, and in that case it probably will crash your game. And thanks to the author of Nordic Skyrim, because I saw that he used this in his description. So, make sure to download the main mods. Wow, there are 92 files, damn, that's a lot. Um, so download only this CBBE, and I don't really even care to look at all of the optional stuff. Miscellaneous, yeah, there's a lot of, um, a lot of patch files here, but they're not necessarily needed. I don't, didn't discover anything weird or uh, shady about it. So in that case, we can download, uh, sorry, we can first, um, let's see, after CBBE, we do have to fill in Kajit textures, I think, yeah. Wow, I really messed up my, um, my numbering there for some reason. I click next, click 4K, 2K, uh, Grey Cat or Leopards. Um, yeah, pick what you like here. I'm gonna go for furry since it's still a cat. And then do the same for the Argonian textures. So in that case, that will be the, um, let's see, we have the, f uh, what is it here? Feminine Argonian textures. All right, click next, click. Again, resolution, chameleon or lizards, depends on what you like. Maybe I like lizard better. Here. Yeah, just select what you like and click on install. All right, and let's hope my numbering is correct from now on. Else I'm just gonna follow my own installation order again. And oh yeah, not to forget fair skin, of course. So where is it? Fair skin complexion for CBBE. Yes, that's what we did download. Comes with a lot of options. Um, here, just pick what you like. I'm gonna leave everything on default and I'm not gonna Add all of this stuff. Now let's see what we didn't want to activate. The eyebrow stuff, I thought it was. So first skin, yeah, don't select the eyebrow. So we're gonna double check that we don't do that here. If it's if we can find it. Yeah, it's probably, it should probably, oh here maybe. Yeah, so here it says your ESP, ESP file, which we're not gonna do since it is an old RIM file. It, we only can use the meshes and textures from, uh, from old RIM. All right, um, okay. Let's see what's wrong with this mod. Oh, I didn't uh, come with any, that's weird. Just reinstall the mod and right click on it, reinstall. Let's see what went wrong here. Oh, okay, we have to, <laughs> we we haven't used it. We, I didn't um, pick an option, that's why. Uh, so I'm gonna go for the default stuff. So, okay, and then install and then it shoots. Let's see, then if you did the same uh, error like I did, make sure to replace everything. We don't need a backup, that's not needed. 
All right, and now it should give us some, um, yeah, only texture updates for the skin mod. Great, then let's see, what do we have more? Uh, let's download the last couple of mods, which is Skyrim's Ultimate Eye Meshes, Remastered, the Darling um, Eye Replacer, and again, uh, what I says here, I normally use Eyes of Beauty, but I think this one looks really great, Darling Eye Replacer. Then we have Underworld Awakening, Hybrid Vampire Eyes, if you like that. Um, and Immersive Weapon Patches, and this is, yeah, for the mod Immersive Weapons, which we did install. Um, mm, 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 mm. let's see, this is for, because we did install immersive weapons, I'm, I'm quickly reading this, please note if you installed any, only specific budget mods, which we, not all in one, okay, yeah, yeah, but we're not there yet, so for the Skyrim Ultimate, I meshes remastered, download the main file, and I probably have also only the main file, so, yeah, I think we have, why do I have eye replacer here as well then? Really no idea. Oh, it's probably for the next mod, which is the underworld stuff. I guess it is. Um, let's see, let's first just, um, let's first install this one, the Skyrim Ultimate Eye stuff, which is in my case 25, click manual click data and as you can see for me it's also sometimes pretty new because there's so many mods and I only installed all of these mods just one time um, to test everything run fine and for that sometimes I have to look myself what I need to do with installation and all that stuff so in that case this one should be called yeah here it is okay so um, yeah select the eye replacer the regular one I think that's this one yes the 1k version so let's see, is that correct? Yeah, 1K version eye replacer. So that's that one. Say, set this, no, set this as your data directory and then press okay. And then activate the mod. And then let's see, what do we have more? So Underworld Awakening uh, for the vampire stuff. Let's see, wow, we have a lot of options here. Um, pick the one you like. I probably have 2K or 4K with glow or no glow. Let's see what I did download here. Um, Oh, I actually didn't download anything. Okay. <laughs> I completely missed this mod. Um, what you can do is just download, yeah, one of the version. I would select one or two K with the glow or no glow version. And then you can add them in mod organizer, set the date to f directory correctly, or just completely skip it. That's fine as well. It's not really that important mod. And then the last mod is the immersive weapon patches, which we need quite some apparently. Um, let's see what kind of files do I have still left because I have quite a lot of them. I have the immersive weapons patches, amazing follower tweaks. Ah, okay, okay. Um, because this comes after this section. Let, let's first install the immersive weapons patches. And what we did here is um, use this patch if you're using individual plugins. So download the main, f main version here for immersive weapon patches because it will automatically detect uh, the patches we need. Let's, let's do that first, number 27 which is this one then. Okay, select, let's see what we're gonna select. The unofficial Skyrim Special Edition, yes. Do we have any other mods which we're going to install later? Begin all in one, conflict resolution to give dispatch specifically, nah, okay. Um, the, we didn't install the all in one option, we installed everything manually from Begin, so we're not going to uh, activate this thing so in this case this case the author is right we only have the unofficial skyrim special edition patch so click install activate the mod and then let's see okay what it says here if you want to install any follower packages or custom followers please do that now um and of course they're optional so you can check out the nordic guide check the followers to have some inspiration but also you can just add some of the followers you like which are not on the list but please do that now if you want to install any followers to avoid any yeah, conflicts later in the tutorial. And then afterwards, we do have amazing follower tweaks, which I think is a really essential mod to control followers and to give them specific instructions because the vanilla Skyrim instructions for followers are just too limited. And uh, for that, I would suggest you pick amazing follower tweaks and you also want to download the patch file for, let's see, because we did download the patch file, right? Let's see which patch file did we download. We did download the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch in beta. Where is it? 
unofficial oh here it is patch beta one download that one as well because we use the unofficial skyrim special edition patch so amazing follower tweaks click manual press ok and here it is okay and also the patch file which is this one then click manual set this is your data directory then press ok all right and then also of course drag and drop alternate start at the bottom at the bottom this is not the bottom this is the bottom of your load order and then run the game to see everything rent fine and if so yeah we can continue with the next part but this mod gave us a lot of options and other stuff ezm files so in that case please double check make sure to visit some cities to see everything runs fine you don't get any crashes and if you do have any crashes please reverse engineer by uh Un unchecking the mods one by one go into the game see if the problem still exists and if not you can pinpoint what you did wrong if so right click on the mod reinstall and see if you perhaps picked the wrong option all right so do that right now and then see you guys at the next part and the next part is going to be body specific armor but i probably will merge it with no no uh, mm, let's see what yeah i don't even know but perhaps i'm gonna merge it with part 12 and 13 but anyway thanks again for watching this part test your skyrim and then hopefully see you guys at the next part so take care and bye bye